This spell is to stop people from doing magic on you, to stop witches from doing magic on you, and to kind of break their spells or hexes or whatever they have sent your way. Now I'm going to show you all this. Um, so all you're going to need is like a box. I'm using a tin box. Um, if you don't have tarot cards, you can write these things down on paper or you can go to your printer and print out these tarot cards. Okay, um, the devil death and the high priestess okay now it's not what you think okay uh, <laughs> um this lighting is so bad in here that's why i never film in here y'all um <clears throat> so if you can if you if you have a printer um or you can just write the names of the tarot cards and the numbers at the top let's see the devil is 14 no, no, the devil is 15, and death is 13, and the high priestess is 2, okay? Um, so you're going to get you a, a tin box, and what you're going to do is open it, and this box is going to represent containing this person's power over towards you okay this box is going to represent their um, intent and bad spells that are trying to get to you they're all going to be contained okay so the high priestess is representing the person who put the spell on you if it's a man get the high priest if it's a woman get the high priestess so if this is a female who has put a spell on you you get the high priestess, or you write the high priestess in there, or their name. Put that down first, okay? And you're going to then, if you don't, if you have vervain, get some vervain And sprinkle it on top. This protects against any type of attack, psychic attack, magic attack. Okay, put that on top of the tarot card. Now this is not going to hurt your tarot cards because it's it's dry. You're not going to put anything wet on it. Then you're going to take a black stone. You can get these from the Dollar Tree, y'all, or go find a stone outside, preferably a dark color or black. You put this on top of this card. Okay, this is this is sort of like keeping her in check. Or she can't mess with you okay um, and then you're going to get death and death means the end of something okay um, the end of something and then the start of something new so you're going to end and break this spell you're going to place the death card on top as well okay now <clears throat> after you do this you're going to put all your intention in here, how you want her to be unable to affect you. All her spells and hexes are broken. And then you're going to take the devil card and you're going to put this there. And this means this is something that you can break free from. Okay, when it's, up, when it's upright, when it's the right way. It means you have the choice to break free from what is binding you. So... This is you being able to break free from this hex or this spell. So you put the devil on the top, okay? And <clears throat> you put your intention into this box. You put your intention into this box. And my, my curses are broken. My spells are broken. This high priestess, this witch, this high priest, this um, uh, 
person that is trying to cause me harm and havoc and do spells and work on me is no longer able to affect me. All her curses are broken. And then like a coffin, like you can also use a coffin box for this, but it's not to kill the person. It is to kill their magic on you. So like a mortician, you slowly close, you slowly close as if it's like a funeral. And you put that all to rest. Okay. Now, you can bury this for three days. Or, if you don't want to put your cards in the ground, like, make copies of them on paper. And um, use those and you keep it buried. Okay. Um... And that's pretty much it. A lot of people will um, try to do this with, you know, different cards, or whatever. But I, I think the these tarot cards are very symbolic. The white Rider weight tarot cards are symbolic um, for certain reasons because of the picture and the alchemy in the pictures. But you can use any deck you like, but I prefer that one. Um, you can either write the name of that tarot card on a paper, an index card, like if you're, um, you know, on a budget and you don't have all this stuff, use index cards and, uh, or you can print them out on your printer, doesn't matter. So then you take the box, like it's a coffin, and you carry it and you bury it and it's gone. This is gone. This is, it's over. Okay. This is what you need to do to anyone who has put spells on you. Or who has done work on you. This is not a revenge spell. This is to stop their magic. And to stop it from ever working on you again. Okay. Now for revenge spells. <clears throat> for revenge spells. Okay. <sighs> again with the tarot. This is this I'm using this because it's easy and you can reuse these cards over and over and over. You can make copies of them on, you know, on a Xerox machine, on your printer, copier or whatever. And you can use these for spell work. Okay, a lot of people don't use their tarot cards and spell work, but you can get an extra deck to use in there. Okay, so and plus they have all your energy on them, so they're really good, okay? So if you want to cause havoc in someone's life, you need to get the tower. Because the tower as you can see, their whole life is going to be destroyed. Okay? So you put that tower there. Um, you put that tower down. And you burn a candle. You get a seven-day candle. And you can get a black one. Uh, they have some that's um, return to cinder spell. It's like red and black. It's like a reversal spell. Or you can just get a black one. Or a white one and write what you want to happen on there so you can get a white votive candle let's see do I have one okay I'm just gonna use this for an example because I don't have one up here right now um, so you're gonna get your glass uh, seven-day novena candle and you're gonna take a sharpie marker and you're gonna write the person's name on it what you want to happen to them, like havoc, destroy, uh, lose money, all that kind of stuff. And if you have some type of, uh, if you work with any deity that is good for this, you draw their their veve or their sigil on it. Or you make up your own sigil, I don't know, whatever. A lot of witches do it different. But write their name on it, their date of birth, so they know exactly who it is. What you want to happen to them. And... Then you place this on top of your card so it's sitting like this on your altar or your dresser. Make sure it's in a glass because this is not. And you burn this. Leave that under there for, for as long as the candle is burning. And you burn this. And after the seventh day, after the whole candle is burnt down, look at the glass. Make sure it's clear and that it had a good burn and all that kind of good stuff. And then you take the tower card, you leave it up there, if you're not using your tarot cards, you leave it up there, and 
every day that you pass by the altar and you look at this card that's being displayed there, you need to imagine ways that their life is going to fall apart. Every day that that candle is burning and that you pass by and you look at this card, imagine ways that their life can be destroyed, okay? And visualize it. Um, and then, like I said, when your candle is done, leave the card up there for three more days after. And look at the card and, and, and imagine that those people that are falling out of that tower are them. Okay? Havoc. Destruction. Um, and then, that's it. Wait, Sit back and wait for it to happen. Um, that's the easiest spell that I can give you because it only costs a dollar for the candle. Everyone has a Sharpie. And if you can't get the Tower Tarot card, you can basically copy it and just make a copy of it or try to draw it or just write the Tower and the, the, the Roman numeral at the top. And let's see what this one is. This is 16. You could draw, you can try attempt to draw this picture as, as best as you can. Whatever you need to do, okay? And that is the best type of spell because each day that you pass that candle you're coming up with new ways for and uh, imagining new ways for their lives to be destroyed you know it's coming out of your creation you're creating their havoc and um, it's not you know it's not uh, something that I would do just for fun I mean this person really would have to do something evil to me that I just could not forgive you know <clears throat> and a lot of things do not get me mad, so I really don't do these type of spells a lot. So, uh, um, that, yeah, if somebody messes with someone you love, yes, yes, yes. This is a good one. Um, so, yeah, that's pretty much it for that spell. If y'all have any questions, put them below, and I will try to answer them. Um, and also, you want to dress your candle with baneful herbs if you dress, if you know how to dress your candle. You can put um, hot pepper, cayenne pepper in there, um, black cat oil, um, all that kind of stuff. Just any type of baneful herb is going to mess up someone's life. You can dress your candle with that as well, okay? And don't forget to cleanse yourself afterwards with like some Florida water because you don't want to carry that negative energy into your life.